Hello and thank you for joining Smart Business Solutions today on our how to record a bad debt in zero. So first things first um, is obviously determining if you have a bad debt. So I'm going to quickly jump over to the accounting tab and open up a particular report that may help you track your bad debts and determining whether or not you do have bad debts. So you're going to go to the payables and receivables tab and open up your age receivables summary. So this report here in Zero is going to show you every single invoice that you have outstanding. So say we have just completed our end of month bookkeeping, we're going to update our report to show all our outstanding invoices. So it's only going to be as accurate as your bookkeeping is. So if you are a bit behind in, say, your bank reconciliation, some of these invoices may have actually been paid, but you haven't recorded them in the system. So this would be an inaccurate report to run until you've gotten up to date with your bookkeeping. So what makes it a bad debt? So I'm looking at here anything that's kind of older. So as you can see here, this report keeps track uh, of your invoices by their due date. And as they kind of get two months overdue, three months overdue and anything past that, they do move them along. So for example, here you can see city limousines we've done some work for, we've invoiced them out a thousand dollars, but they haven't yet paid. So there's a difference between, according to the ATO, between, I guess, a doubtful debt and a bad debt. So doubtful is, I guess, thinking that you may still have um, potential on receiving or recovering this income versus a bad debt is where you've made multiple attempts, followed, the, followed them up via, you know, email, phone calls or sent out invoice reminders, and you're just confident that you're not going to receive this money or perhaps this business has now gone into liquidation and you're just not going to receive it. So what is the next step to take in zero? I'm going to open up this invoice. So as you can see in this invoice, once it loads, this is going back a number of months now. Um, we've obviously done some work for them and it's just not um, going to get paid. We've had it even, it may have been that you've had a discussion with them. There's been some issues with the work that you performed and we've had that discussion. It's just not going to be paid. So it's really important to record it via a credit note system in Xero and not any other way that you may have seen or tried to do. Just because if you've recorded this invoice, this invoice is going to be sitting on your profit and loss and recorded as income. So depending on what um, basis you report for GST purposes on your BAS. You may have already paid GST on this or you will pay GST the moment this invoice is marked as paid and you don't want to be out of pocket for an invoice that you haven't actually received. Um, the same thing goes for tax. So if you've actually recorded this as income, you will potentially be paying tax on this amount here as well. So really important to do it via the credit note system. So to do that, you head up to these three dots in the top right corner and head down to create and apply credit. So you add the date um, of the date that you determine this is a bad debt. So I'm happy to leave it as of today's date. This will actually just copy all the detail from your invoice. So you can actually just delete that and add a new line for bad debt. That way, it, uh, if you do have, I guess, multiple items on that invoice, you're not having to edit every single line item. You're just recording that full invoice as a bad debt and they are linked. So you can always go back to the detail if you do need it. So you do want to make sure, and now that I've deleted it, you want to make sure that you are picking up the um, total amount of the invoice that we are writing off. So for example, it was $1,000, but making sure that you have a copy of the invoice somewhere so you can enter this in because the moment you delete any of your items like I just did, it wipes it to zero. So setting it up as the invoice amount that we're writing off as a bad debt, and then you're going to search for a bad debt account. What happens if you've never had a bad debt and you don't have an account? All you have to do is use the drop down, add a new account and record a bad debt. So the code, just quickly, the code actually doesn't really matter unless you have an integration software. So you're basically just trying to find a code um, that's available because Xero won't allow you to use the same code twice. If you're still not sure, you can find your chart of account codes and see what other expenses are at this code and um, determine a code that way. So you want the name to be bad debt because that's what it is and making sure that your tax rate is GST on expenses if you are um, registered for GST and hit approve.
So this will take us back to our invoice. If it wants to load. So zero is having a bit of a think. But basically once I do approve this invoice, um, when it lets me, it's going to record this invoice is fully paid. Um, it's going to ensure that the GST is, I guess, claimed back in our BAS because the GST is going to be, I guess, payable to the ATO at the same time. But bottom line is that this invoice is not going to be showing as outstanding. You've claimed the deduction for the bad debt and you're not going to be out of pocket for GST or tax purposes if you're claiming the bad debt via the credit note system. Any questions, feel free to reach out. Thank you.